All right, guys, just a quick video of uh, the steel pond system, the upper side of it anyway. Got the water shut off right now so that it'll it'll make less noise. They got a cutoff valve over here. So if you've never seen this before, this is what's usually going on up here. So you see you get a lot of oxygen with that. But uh, it makes for a better video if we're not doing that. So I just wanted to show you a couple cool little things going on this year. Number one, I've, I've seen mint... Uh, do some pretty amazing things and grow across the water like a surface plant. That's not mint there. That's actually um, watercress that's in this little bucket in here, this little gravel bucket that I put in here for the minnows to spawn in. Uh, this is my minnow tank. And I got salvinia. It actually made it through winter and it's coming back. So that, that'll multiply really, really quick. But check that out down there. I don't know if you can tell. That's, that's underwater. That's mint growing like an underwater plant coming out of this pot here with the rhizome and growing. So I've just never seen that before. And then about, oh, about a year ago, snails showed up. I got snails all through this system. Hey, little snails everywhere. I mean, they're just, now come over here. This is my bullhead tank. I've got some bullheads in here. You'll notice something about the bullhead tank. There, there's no snails. Do you know why there's no snails? Because the bullheads eat the snails. So all I do is about once a week I'll come out here and I'll just pick all the snails off of the ledge there and just throw them in there. Like see here everywhere here. Look bullhead food. Free. Free bullhead food. Look at that. That's a big fat one there. And you can't hardly keep up with them. So there we go. Bullheads lead them. We'll crush them right up. And uh, so it's like free food. Uh, but anyway, that's, I just kind of wanted to show you that, that we got kind of that dynamic going on here. The rest of the ponds are, you know, they're starting to look pretty good. There's a big old koi down there. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, though. Big old gold koi. Well, we got a lot of work to do. Get the water back running again. And uh, we'll keep giving you updates as uh, things progress through the season. Again, like my last walkthrough video, things get a lot more interesting over the next couple weeks as... Life in spring return to Texas.